Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you cannot rename or remove a folder directory, perhaps it's empty, on your computer. So, if you're trying to do any modifications to it and you run into this problem, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. So, the first thing I would suggest would be to actually right click on whatever folder you're having the problems with, and then left click on properties. Underneath attributes, you want to left click where it says advanced. You want to go up and left click on the security tab, and then where it says for special permissions or advanced settings, click advanced, left click on the advanced button. And now you want to go where it says owner, you want to left click on where it says change. So left click on change, and underneath enter object name to select, you want to enter whatever your username is here. So if you're unsure of exactly how to spell your username, you just would open up the start menu, type in file explorer, and go underneath this PC, local disk, and then users, and you would see you exactly how to spell your account. There should only be a couple in there, hopefully, so just take note of however you spelled it. And enter non enter object. I'm going to type in my username as it appears. I'm going to left click on check names. Once that's done, left click on OK. And where it says replace owner or subcontainers and objects, check mark inside of there. And then left click on apply. You have just taken ownership of this object. You will need to close and reopen this object properties before you can view or change permissions. Left click on OK and then OK again. Close out of here and see if you can now modify the folder however you needed to before. Another thing you could try would be if you're still having issues, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevate command line window, you want to type in chk, dsk, space, and then whatever your drive letter was. So if you went back into File Explorer in case you didn't know where Windows is installed on, and you underneath this PC, wherever it has a little Windows icon above, this hard drive, this letter next to a colon, this is your hard drive letter. So you're going to enter it right here. So C, in my case, and then a colon, space, forward slash F, and then another space, forward slash R. So again, CHK, DSK, space, and then wherever your drive letter is, attached to a colon. Then you want to do a space, forward slash F, and then another space, and then forward slash R. Hit enter your keyboard to begin running this check disk utility. This will take some time. You will have to run it and schedule it to run after you've restarted your computer. So you're just going to have to type Y on your keyboard it's because you will have to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts. Again, type Y, hit enter. The volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So close out of here, restart your computer, and let it run the check disk utility, and hopefully that should resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.